Hi, this is Alex Loy with Technical Marketing. This video series walks through the deployment and initial configuration of Smart Fabric Storage software. In this example deployment, the topology consists of ESXi NVMe over TCP hosts in the workload cluster, a PowerStore T storage appliance, and the SFSS virtual machine in the management cluster. In this video, we will add the CDCs as controllers to each VMHBA in the ESXi cluster and verify that the hosts appear in SFSS. This step will be automated in a future version of VMware vSphere. Now we will walk through the detailed process. Click the first host. Go to Configure, and in Storage Adapters, select the VM HBA that is in SAN A. In the lower pane, go to the Controllers tab and click Add Controller. In SAN A, enter the IP address of the CDC interface. Check the box for Root Discovery Controller. This box indicates that we are adding a centralized discovery controller and not a direct discovery controller. Enter the port number. The default number is 8009. Next, click Discover Controllers. The controller shown in the list represents the CDC, but because it's not a DDC, it won't appear in the list of controllers under the VMHBA. Repeat the Add Controller process on the VMHBA on SAN B, entering the IP address of the interface in the SAN B CDC. You can also complete this process using the ESX CLI. To add the controller, use the command ESX CLI NVMe Fabrics Discover and specify the VMHBA, CDC interface, and port number. This command will be run twice for each host, once for SAN A and once for SAN B. In SFSS, for each CDC instance, verify that the hosts have been registered. Go to CDC instances, endpoints, and under host, ensure that each host is online. For more technical resources on SFSS, visit the Dell Technologies Info Hub and the Dell Support site.